Hey everybody, James from Gilbertone Audio here, and today I'm going to show you the best way that I have found to use single shot samples inside of Superior Drummer 3. Since version 3 came out, they have introduced a way to where you can import your own sounds on top of the existing samples that they have in their libraries, which I think is really cool because I do that all the time anyway. So let's just jump right in. I'm using Studio One, of course, and I'm going to show you how I do this. Let's do this. Okay, guys, so I have Studio One up right now. I've got a instance of Superior Drummer. Uh, I like using Metal Machine. Uh, Andy Sneap is kind of a genius when it comes to this stuff, and I really love his snares and his kicks and all that. But I want to add more to it. Um, I'm just going to load up a groove. Here's uh, Charge of the Zombie. Now, I really like uh, the snare. Uh, I, I want it to be more, though. So I'm actually going to go to my uh, drum samples here in the browser. I actually have the uh, drum shots, uh, the Taylor Larson, Luke Holland stuff. I really like the snare in it. I actually have a deverbed version of it. There's the original. And then... a little quiet but that's okay um we'll make it work so anyway all you gotta do is drag it onto it Stu uh, studio one and superior drummer are actually really cool like this where you can just drag and drop otherwise you'd right click and import i'm gonna add to the stack anytime you do this you can stack you can replace or you can add another pad like you can add as many as you want i'm gonna stack it So, so there's them together. Now, I'm just going to hit play, and you'll kind of hear the problem that you have with single shot samples. Kind of hear the machine gun effect. Yeah, it's very machine gunny. It's very digital, right? So we can kind of mess around with this. First, though, what I'm going to do is when you go to the mixer, you can kind of route anything you want. I'm going to put the kicks on their own bus. There's an internal busing system inside a Studio One. Or I'm sorry, in Superior Drummer 3. Uh, I'm going to put the kicks on a bus, snare on a bus. I'm going to put all the toms on a bus and this is just something i do to organize so i'm gonna put all the symbols on a bus and the rooms on a bus i like the verb that's in metal machine but i'm actually going to use my own later so i'm actually going to not route it anywhere and just turn it down for safety even though i technically don't need to turn it down and for some reason there's this little glitch where bus 16 shows up so i don't know what the deal with that is but that's okay it doesn't hurt my workflow i'm gonna go ahead and name these out of ocd-ness nope can't type and symbols and rooms all right now another great thing of of superior drummer is you can route what mic channel it goes to. But the cool thing is I'm going to make my own channel, see create new channel. And all I did, sorry, I'm going kind of quick, but I just right clicked route instrument microphones. There's your audio sample. And then I'm going to create a new channel. It makes an X user mic. If you go back to the mixer, boom, there it is. I'm going to route that to that snare. I'm even going to call it Luke snare. Okay, so now we've got to adjust how this is going to react. So when you mess with samples, there's envelopes, there's curves, ADSR, which is attack, decay, sustained, release. 
just like any kind of synthesizer, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of treat this in a synthesizer way. If you look on the right of the panel, you've got all these options. First, we're going to go to the envelope and offset, I believe. No, nope, no, nope, actually, no. We're going to go to the velocity curve, right? Now, if you look, I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit play. Just watch this. See all these soft hits happening right here? This is what's happening. We don't want that. One way we can do this is we can move this up. I'm going to make it. So what's happening is um, the performance, uh, he's doing ghost notes, and this single shot sample is a, the hardest hit, you know, snare hit. So we want to make sure that it only fires on the loud stuff. And even though I'm bringing this curve up, um, it's still, you know, it's firing all the stuff below. So another feature is velocity gate, which is right here and basically it's saying to only fire the sample within a certain velocity range i'm gonna do it only at the loud stuff let's play again uh here sorry so now the soft hits are not getting hit without it with it. So another thing I like to do with this is I will actually do the soft hit level as well. This basically just, if it's a soft hit, like a roll or a ghost note, it's going to make the volume of the sample even lower. So I actually like to bring that all the way down. Let's hear again. Way more natural. Okay, one more thing I like to do. Once I get all the curves and stuff, I need to mix this in. So I'm going to solo the snare bus and then bring in that Luke snare. Now there is built-in bleed. I like to turn them off. So I click here and I disable bleed from all channels. All right, I'm going to slowly bring this in. So I'm starting to hear it. I want to check the phase. I actually like it better with the phase flipped. So I'm going to bring it back down and I'm going to mix it back in. Wait till it gets into the... There we go. I'm going to mute it and back and forth to see what it's like. Listen how much more punchy it is with it. I'm going to mute it and unmute it again with it. Without it.
So yeah, you can hear it. It's way more punchy. It's way more in your face. Let's take this a step further. There's another sample in here. Uh, it's the snare room. Same idea. It's uh, really just a single shot to bam. We're going to throw that in there. So once again, drag onto it, add to the stack. I'm going to literally do the same exact settings for this thing, except I'm going to also route it on its own channel as well. And it's a room, so I'm going to send it to that rooms bus. I'm just going to call it Luke Room. Okay, so I got the Luke Room going. Uh, I'm going to apply the same exact settings. Okay, so I've got it. Let's play this again. So I got the room solo. I'm gonna bring the loop room all the way down. I'm gonna slowly bring it in until it matches. Without it, with it. I think that sounds awesome. Just for comparison, I'm going to mute these guys again. Here's for comparison. Here's with them. Without them. And there you go. Well, that does it, folks. That's how I use the single shot samples inside of Superior Drummer 3 using Studio One. I think it's a great ecosystem, especially the drag and drop from the browser. Uh, keep an eye on this page. I'm going to keep posting stuff. Um, you know, don't be afraid to leave a comment, ask any questions. I'm going to do another live stream soon, so keep another eye out for that. And I'll see you next time.